If you are just beginning to learn a language, it seems like there are a million resources available to you. And really there are. There are so many courses and programs to help beginners get those foundational skills in the language. And of course, if you have developed an advanced level in your target language, then you have a whole world of native level resources to listen to, to read, and to really refine those skills. But what about those who are in that intermediate Immediate stage. A lot of people get really frustrated at this point because they don't know exactly what to do to continue to improve. And it seems like there's just not a lot of material directed toward them. So what can you do as an intermediate learner to continue to improve and finally reach an advanced level in your target language? Let's talk about it. What's up language leaders? Welcome to another video. My name is Erica, here to help you love, learn, and live a new language. If you are learning a language, you're interested in language learning, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. I drop weekly videos with language learning tips, as well as stories and conversations in Spanish and English if you are learning those languages. So today I just have a few quick tips for all of you intermediate learners out there. It's exciting really to enter this stage, but it can be a little confusing. So I just want to give you a little bit of guidance. So guys, the first tip that I have for you intermediate learners is to take a look at your study routine and determine where you need to make changes. It is very unlikely that you're going to be able to continue with the same study routine that you used as a beginner. As a beginner, perhaps you were using a more structured course or a program. Hopefully you were using a lot of sources of input in order to just get the language in you. So now you have not only a foundation, but you understand a lot of the language and you're ready to move forward. So the exciting thing about being an intermediate learner is that so much more content that you can use in your study routine begins to become available to you. Not that it wasn't before as a beginner, but at this point you can understand so much. There's like this snowball effect where you are able to consume, understand, and process larger amounts of information. So at this point you really want to be looking at what content can I use to study independently that is interesting to me? Am I going to use a podcast episode, an article, a story? You can change this up. You may find as an intermediate learner that your routine shifts from sort of this daily routine where you did certain things every day to more of a weekly routine where you are focusing on the areas that you most want to improve. Maybe one day you're just listening to this piece of content and the next day you're reading along and then you're reading out loud and then you're taking a look at the grammar and seeing what you can determine for yourself. You're picking out new vocabulary and practicing that. You're turning that article, podcast episode, story, whatever you're using, into a conversation and having a conversation about that topic with a speaker of your target language. Maybe another day you're doing dictation with a little piece of that content so that you can practice your writing skills. There is really so much that you can do, but don't lose momentum. Determine a plan for yourself and do your best to stick with it just like you did when you were beginning the language. My second tip, speak the language every day. When you are a beginner, input is so important and yes you need to be practicing especially your pronunciation and of course you're going to start speaking but here at the intermediate stage speaking becomes much more important if you find that you're pretty comfortable speaking about everyday subjects choose a topic to speak about that you're unfamiliar with. We all have topics, even in our native languages, that we're unfamiliar with and we're not quite comfortable speaking about those topics. So find something like that in your target language. Do make it relevant. There's no need to have a discussion about brain surgery if that's not relevant to your life or interesting to you. But do choose a topic that's both relevant but a little outside of your comfort zone and start 
speaking on that topic with another person. That's going to help you so much just come out of your comfort zone. Sometimes intermediate learners really do just get comfortable and then you fall into this danger of becoming complacent and never advancing further. So do try to think about new topics that you can learn about and speak about. Start paying closer attention to idioms or to ways that native speakers say a certain thing that is not necessarily how you have been expressing yourself. It's easy to become happy with making yourself understood and not really saying things in the way that a native speaker would. Let's take an example of a Spanish speaker learning English. Many, many times they'll say that they're going to take a decision because in Spanish we say tomar un decisión. We don't say hacer una decisión to make a decision. That's not what we say in Spanish. So many English learners who speak Spanish as their native language will continue to say that they're going to take a decision. So that's an example of something that you just need to tune your ear. You need to listen a lot and hear how native speakers speak so that you can begin to adopt that in your speech. My next tip would be to read, read, read frequently. Reading is so interesting because often the way an author writes is a bit more formal and a bit different than the way we may speak on a day-to-day -day basis. But I'm sure we've all had the experience that we're reading a book, even in our native language, and we think, that is so eloquent. Wow, isn't that beautifully written? The same thing happens in our target language. Things are written out in a little different way than you're normally going to speak. So you're going to be able to add some eloquence to your speech. You're also going to be able to see different ways to put thoughts together. And it's just going to help you so much to refine the way that you speak. And it's going to take your vocabulary to the next level. I remember back when I was learning Spanish and native speakers were always impressed with my vocabulary, just the words that I used. And this is only because I read a lot. I would read a lot and just find different ways of saying a certain thing and those words would stick. So it just added a lot of variety to my speech and then eventually led to me writing poetry and stories in Spanish that I already enjoy doing in English. Once you're comfortable reading about everyday subjects, get into subject matters that are a little unfamiliar to you and that's really going to help you take your vocabulary and just your manner of speaking to another level. My next tip would be to focus on the grammar points that are giving you trouble. I never recommend to beginners that they focus so much on grammar, but really in this intermediate stage, Stage, it is fine to begin to focus a bit more on grammar. You'll start to notice that there are certain grammar points that you are always messing up on that are just really hard for you to grasp. So now you can really begin to study those. Maybe pick one grammar point a week, for example, and go ahead and do some grammar exercises. Go ahead and, and just delve a bit deeper into how that thing works. Now is the point as an intermediate learner to practice your grammar if that's something that you want to do. All right, guys, these are the tips that I could think of today, but hopefully this does help you intermediate learners out there to know that this is one of the most exciting points in your language learning journey. Stay consistent, don't give up, keep pushing, keep challenging yourself. You are soon going to be an advanced speaker of the language. Guys, if you wanna get your hands on a really powerful study system that will really help you out as an intermediate learner, then go ahead and go to ericaelsworth.com slash blueprint and download your free study guide. I will link to that below as well. Like this video if you like it and comment below and tell me how has your routine changed now as an intermediate learner in comparison to when you were a beginner. I would love to hear from you guys. In the meantime, don't forget to go out and live a new language today, and I'll see you next week. Ciao.